shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Yes, Jesus mighty name. Good morning to you. Happy weekend. We're sharing truth today on would you be God's man? And that's coming from Genesis chapter 6. You are warmly welcome to the Really Really Knowing God channel with me, Pastor Larry Adenekon. This channel is all packed together to inform and inspire you into the real knowledge of God. And everything is being powered by the Pastor Larry Adenekon Center for a True Spiritual The Place. This is the Daily Gem Devotional, making you a gem to your generation and a gemstone upon the crown of our Lord Jesus Christ. If you're fed up with sense knowledge and now you really desire revelation knowledge, you are the right channel by the grace of God. Let's pray together. Our Father in heaven, we bless you this morning, give you praise and glory. Thank you for your word and to also God we pray that you help us to be people that will truly, truly work with you and enjoy your fellowship. And above all, Father God, help us as we make ourselves available for you. May we truly be your person of the hour, of the time, of the season. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, um, Genesis, um, we you know, finished the other time with the story of Cain and now he appealed to God and got a bit of relief and all. So the story now goes on like that. Lamech took two wives, name of one was Ada, the other one was Zillah, and uh, Ada bore Jebal, the father of those who dwell in tents and have livestock, but his name was Jubal, father of those who play the harp and flute. And then we go on, we go on, it's all about genealogy, uh, the wives of uh, Lamech, somebody killed somebody. Adam now had um, another child called Seth, you know, and all. we find out that we just go on about genealogy and genealogy um, chapter 5 and all the rest of it and then all the years they lived and all in all of this this what interests me is about somebody called Enoch the Bible says in verse uh, um, 22 after he got me to Salah Enoch walked with God with 300 years and he had sons and daughters all the days of Enoch were so so and so Enoch walked with God and he was not for God took him and um, we, we, we find the, the name of this person coming up in the New Testament sometime later, trying to describe his relationship with God. And he had that record that uh, he walked so much with God that God just took him. And so nobody could talk about exactly where he was buried and things like that. That, you know, results into some people who think that, you know, could come back one day or something like that and all the rest of it, which I don't think uh, we have anything to say like that in the New Testament to hold on to very strongly. But what a child of God could derive from that is that there is a way we can walk with God and God will enjoy us. There is a way we can walk with God and God will actually reference us and, and refer to you know there are some people God will refer to them even if Samuel and, and Noah and so so and so were to come to intercede before me you know he was referencing them he was giving them um, they became reference points for God and he was using them to if you like he was flaunting them he was saying that these guys were good intercessors yeah this this, this Enoch too was somebody who walked with God and I think God um, would enjoy if we would walk in walk with him so well um, that's why that's what the New Testament is all about it's a relationship with God it's a very very fine relationship with God and um, you know when you are in love with somebody or you are very very close to somebody or you you are very fond of somebody you will usually um, um, exchange things like little text messages here and there, you know, and something to quickly share with one another and all. Yes, you see, the Bible is God's text message to us. It's actually his WhatsApp to us so that uh, in our relationship, we can we can build upon that, you know, and, and make something great out of it. That's the kind of thing um, I like to talk about when it comes to somebody like Enoch. In chapter 6, <clears throat> excuse me, the Bible says it came to pass one, that when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, daughters were born to men, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men, that they were beautiful, and they took wives for themselves of all whom they chose. The Lord said, My spirit cannot strive with man forever, for he is indeed flesh, yet his days are 120 years. There were giants in the land in those days, and also afterward when the sons of men came to the daughters of men, they were born. They brought children to them. They were mighty men who were of old and men of renown. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
Uh, this is something people have asked me several times on uh, our Q&A program, Pastor, explain this, what is the meaning of all this, and what we typically will say to people, uh, that it is not a very, very clear uh, thing, but what a lot of people believe is that uh, there were fallen angels who were having some form of interaction with uh, uh, physical human beings and uh, bringing about what uh, the Bible describes as huge people or giant people or got in some other name that they are called um, <clears throat> from the Hebrew and, and, and all now that's what people believe but uh, with from this uh, story we go on to uh, uh, the story of uh, Noah when it says the Lord saw the wickedness of man was great in the earth and the every intent of the thoughts of its heart was only evil continually the Lord was sorry that he had made man upon the earth grieved his heart so the Lord said I will destroy the man whom I have created from the face of the earth and both man and beast creeping things of the air for I'm sorry but Noah found grace in the presence of the Lord and so from there he went on to uh, describe the genealogy of Noah and how um, the whole earth was corrupt verse 11 before God was filled with the violence and all that and God said to Noah the end of all flesh has come to me for the earth is filled with the violence through them and behold I will destroy all of them Make yourself an axe of gopher wood, make rooms in the earth, and went on to describe exactly what to be done. And we know that according to what we read in the Bible, he gave very, very specific instructions, the type of wood, how to build, and um, dimensions, animals to put in, and all. And Noah did exactly according to um, what the Lord asked him to do. Now we learn from there that at times, you see, things so happen upon the earth here that um, <clears throat> God may not be particularly pleased with what we are doing, but in all of it, he would always find a remnant. He will always find some man. He will always find a group. He will always find a pair. He will always find a remnant. No matter how the case may be, he will always still find somebody that he can relate to. And what that says to me uh, this morning, uh, will come to some of our complaints you know about maybe the way the church is the way the nation is the way this is god will always have a remnant why not be that remnant instead of complaining and, and whining and talking and saying all kinds of things why don't you just keep quiet and get into the presence of god get into your closet between you and god work out something make yourself available to god let you be the person that god will use to turn things around yes uh things may not be good and unquote, but there's always a remnant, a pair, a couple, a group. You know, God has used people like that a couple, a pair, uh, some group for a gate revival. Uh, we hear of some street revival, this, that revival. It's usually a group, a pair, a couple, uh, or somebody that makes himself available to God. Uh, why don't you be the person that uh, God will use for our own particular? sorry to use the language, Noahish <laughs> generation that we may find ourselves uh, uh, um, in at this point in time. Why not be the person God will use this weekend or this season and um, something great will come out of it in Jesus' mighty name. Thanks for being there. I wish you a very, very wonderful weekend.